Back in 1987, scientists first noticed the death of a star, about 160,000 light years away. Supernova 1987A is absolutely unique because it's so close to us. There hasn't been a supernova seen in our own Milky Way galaxy since 1604. Supernova 1987A is not quite in our galaxy. It's in our neighbor, the satellite, the Large Magellanic Cloud. Scientists have been watching the supernova for three decades. First from the ground, then with Hubble after its launch in 1990. The expanding debris, the fastest moving stuff, started to collide with the ring of gas around it. We saw the string of pearls light up. But it also made very hot gas that we don't see with the space telescope, but you can see with an X-ray telescope, the Chandra X-ray telescope, for example. And the other traces of this interaction came from radio observations. Observations scientists say we should all care about because we can trace our origins back to the elements of life created by supernova explosions. You are really stardust. You are really made of the insides of stars that exploded over five billion years ago before the Earth and the Sun formed. But the story doesn't end there. Astronomers will continue to follow this supernova's evolution using the Webb Telescope and other future observatories. From the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland, I'm Mary Stacion.